Instagram, you please, if you haven't already, make sure that you download the Business Box app. Uh, and at 12.30, we have the EU debate with LBC. Okay, so our next speaker is Heather Wilde. Um, and we're going to learn how you can find your inner unicorn. So I think I might find found mine, Heather. Um, but maybe if I listen to you, you might tell me wrong. <laughs> okay, welcome. Big round of applause for Heather Wilde. Thank you. Quora, I'm actually one of the top writers. So everything, like when you just start allowing yourself to come forward, really cool things start to happen. And I am an executive coach. And I am obviously a public speaker, presenter, and author. So all of these things are part of my unicorniness. So that's pretty cool. So today, I'm talking to you about how to unleash your unicorn. So all of you are hiding something. It's inside of you, and it is begging to come out. As I said, two years ago, I had no idea that this was true about me. I was just happy to be hiding behind my desk at Evernote, no one knew who I was, except the people in the company, of course. And I was just there in my desk, working away. And it was just, I, I knew I was happy at my job, but I wasn't willing to come out and do anything about it. But really, inside of me was this, this thing, this unicorn, this version of me that was my best self. And when a lot of people in Silicon Valley say unicorn, what they mean is billion dollar company. When I say unicorn, I say it means that thing that will make you be the best version of yourself. Because without understanding what makes you, you, you will not be successful. Like, th it's just not going to happen. If you can't understand yourself, then how can you ever unleash that passion on other people? How can you ever be a successful person in life if you can't impart your... If, you, if you're not clear on your purpose, if you're not clear on your vision, how can you expect other people to be clear on your company's purpose? So when I was sitting there, sitting in Evernote, being like, oh, well, I'm happy to live with somebody else's vision, I wasn't really clear on my own purpose. 
So this is something that I had to come to my own, on my own self. So I started to think about what does my purpose mean? What is it about me that makes me special? What makes me feel the most like myself? And I realized that for me, that was actually curiosity. What I really love doing is learning about other people, learning about things and traveling and finding actually the joy in every moment. That's what makes me feel most alive. That is my unicorn power. So if, when I close my eyes and I am just trying to decide what I want to do, I just am energized by finding out about other people and things. And if you start thinking about what is it that makes you feel most alive, you will find your unicorn. You will find that thing that's inside yourself that will help you to be better at everything you do. Once I found my purpose, once I found how clear that I was with everything, I was able to start setting goals. I realized, what is it that a person who is so clear about asking questions and being curious and loving that is good at? Well, being a coach finding that potential in other people, asking them questions so that they can unlock their potential. And now, two years later, I'm actually an executive coach that works with CEOs that helps people to close deals, that helps people to get through acquisitions, that is now a writer, a top writer on Quora, <laughs> does things like that. You find out, once you're clear on your purpose, you actually can do the things that you want to do. If you talk to somebody that is clear on their purpose, that understands who they are as a person, then you know you feel it coming off of them. And you end up understanding what their purpose is without them even telling you. So when you close your eyes and start thinking, what is my best self? Where do I feel most comfortable? This is the thing that is the potential inside of you. This is the place that you are the, you have the ability to become more. You have this power, this, this voice, that enables you to just grow and grow and continue to grow. And what's really cool is that the level that you're at every day becomes your low bar for the next day, and then the next day, and the next day. And you don't have to stress out. You don't have to overachieve. You will never, in the rest of your life, be down. It just becomes a curve of up and up and up when you start to tap into this. You have an awesome power that is different from everyone else on the planet. Your power is unique. No one has the same power that you do because you are an expert in something. Someone here in this room, I bet, is the only one on the planet that is amazing at trolling people on the internet. I am positive. And someone else here is really, really good, the best person on the planet at stalking people on Facebook. I am sure of it. So if you can figure out what your power is, 
then you can start saying, well, I know that I am the best person in the world at this. Now use that for everything else you do. Because you're going to walk straighter. You're going to stand up and you're going to be confident. Be like, no matter what, I got this because I'm really good at that. I know I'm good at something, so of course I can be good at everything else. Well, that's not entirely true. I mean, you're not going to be suddenly a rock star, but you know you've already conquered something. So how can everything else be hard? So how do you unleash this? How do you learn how to become something greater than what you already are? It's actually quite simple, and you can start right now. First thing you got to do is own it. Who here is a Game of Thrones fan? Cersei is the queen of owning it. Every time she walks in the room, no matter what, even when she's in prison, she owns the room. You just have to believe that you are the best. And it's not confidence. It's not, I mean, it's not ego. It is confidence. It's having that knowledge that you can be who you are. You are the best you that you can be. If you're not sure that you're the best you that you can be, then you need to change something. Like, what is it that's causing you to think that you're not the best you you can be? Why is that? What voice in your head is saying, I'm not good enough? If you're hearing that voice, say, go away. I don't need you. Because you are good enough. You are excellent. Remember, you're the best in the world at stalking people on Facebook. You can do this. Practice. Once you have figured out what it is that you, your purpose is, all you need to do is practice it. Some people say that you need 10,000 hours to become an expert at something. I say that is, I'm not going to say the word, but it is not true. You do need to practice, however. You need to practice as much as you possibly can. Because the more you practice something, the better you get at it. And there's no magic amount of time to, to become an expert in something. Now, if you want to become a Jedi master, then obviously you, go, you need to study under the best. So I definitely say find a mentor, find people that are better than you to learn from, and continue to find better people because you're going to outgrow people as you go along the way. But if you really want to unleash your potential, then you have to know that your potential grows as you get better. Fight. People will tell you that you are not good enough. That voice in your head will become a voice that is actually allowed as you get better and better and better. And as people see that you are confident, they are going to be afraid of you. And what do you do? You're going to have to just decide, do I care? Yes. You're going to have to fight these people. Because if you don't, then your potential is not going to continue to grow. That unicorn inside of you is important. It needs to grow. If you let it die, then that's just really sad. That's why unicorns are rare. Some people aren't strong enough to fight. But that's not true of you, because you're all unicorns here. And one of the ways to keep going is to be centered. Now, some people do yoga. Some people have religion. Some people read. However you can recharge yourself. It is the way that you need to. Because 
This is a strong, hard way to go. But when you have this power, this amazing, strong thing that keeps you going day after day and fighting that fight, growing and learning and practicing and everything, keeping your company going or your life, you need to rest. Because your brain can't handle it, your body can't handle it, everything needs to go. But if you take the time to come back to the center every now and then, then you will grow farther than you ever could. And trust that it's happening. Trust in the people around you. Trust this entire conference would not have happened without a unicorn behind it putting it together. There are so many things that can happen because of trust and love and faith and hope, and it is real. And people do not pay enough attention to that. When you have an instinct, when you have a gut feeling, when you hear people talking about that, don't dismiss it. When you feel that, listen to it. Too many people ignore it. It's your unicorn telling you, I'm trying to get you to do something. And then people are like, wait, no, but I'm afraid. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the unicorn killer. You need to go forward, fight. You can start today. You can start this second while you're sitting in your chair. All you need to do is act. So figure out for yourself, what is the thing that I am the best at? What makes me the best me? Where do I feel the most alive? What makes me strong and safe and happy and joyous and lovely? Because when you feel that way, then other people will feel that way around you. And then you can just make the world change just by feeling that way. And who wouldn't want to feel that way all the time? Really, like, if you're feeling amazing and then you're making other people feel that way, isn't that, isn't that wonderful? I love that quote <laughs> because it's, it's so interesting to think that there are people that want the world to be all unicorns. But if everybody were unicorns, the world, I think, would be much more difficult, not simpler. I mean, honestly, I don't think anything would get done if everyone was walking around feeling amazing all the time. But we do need people living up to their potential. So, if you've got a whole bunch of people that are all working in their, their essence, living in their best selves, how, and they're all unique, and they all have their own unicorn powers, how do you work together? How do you get things done? Well, that's very interesting to think about, because everybody has their own motivations. Everybody does things for themselves. And one thing that's, that's really cool is the brain actually can be measured. Like, we actually can tell how people think and why they do the things they do. So when you have a group of people that are working together, we can see why somebody wants to do like wants to work this way and wants to work this way and what their powers are and what their powers are. And we can do an assessment to see which ones are going to work better together and why they do that. So if you are a CEO that wants to hire or that has hired a team and you're like, what, how do I get this person to work this way? Because they're a unicorn off doing their own thing and they want to just 
give all the money of the company away to somewhere because they're just happy and they're all centered and wonderful. Well, what we can do is we can do this assessment called IWAM that tells you, well, this person really does, he's like Steve Wozniak, he's gonna give all the money away even though he's an amazing engineer. Um, and that's great, because I'm actually like Steve Wozniak, I'll give all my money away even though I'm a great engineer. Um, so my CEO is great, he's a person that will keep all the money and make sure that I don't get any of it to give it away. <laughs> so, um, so that's awesome. So we have this, uh, this assessment that these companies do and our company comes in, we help and we make sure that, that that's good. And then uh, you can then see how that works. And we are giving it away for free for the people of this conference. Just text that number and you can get that. And what is awesome is that I wanted to take the time for everyone right here to help you find your inner unicorn. So I would like everyone to stand up. Come on, really stand up. And we're gonna do an experiment. Everyone, please close your eyes. Now, think about the place where you feel the most safe, the happiest time that you've ever had in your entire life. Now, this could be time you were surfing, the, f the time your child was born, uh, time you got married. Just feel that, that place, be there. You could be climbing a mountain or, or selling your company or something, but you make yourself really picture it, really feel there. And once you have that in your head, let your entire body let, let it go through your entire body and, and just, like, just let it really get in there. And once you have that, once you have that in there, then you can open your eyes and then start to look around and look at the people around you and how they're feeling and how they're reacting and then start to feel the energy in this room. Did you notice that it's starting to go up? Like that you're all starting, the hair is raising on your arms? Isn't that really cool? <laughs> like, we have all, like the, when you start to get that power, when you're all starting to feel your best, you can actually affect other people. We have all caused each other to change just by being better. So if you tap into your own unicorn energy, you can give other people goosebumps. You have done this to me on stage and there is proof. So thank you all for playing with me on stage here. I appreciate it and thank you for coming today in Manchester and unleashing your unicorns. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you very much, Heather. We've just got two minutes.